Hello, my name is Theo Craig, host of Take to the Bridge on X-Ray FM. This is my dog, Gigi. We are coming at you live from my kitchen where we're about to head down to the X-Ray Studios for a special live performance by Kyle Kraft. He'll be in the X-Ray Studios performing an acoustic set. We're gonna to talk to him at the midpoint, but I wanted to let you know a little bit about the series, the station, and ways you can contribute. Uh, X-Ray's mission, is to hold a microphone to the best and most distinctive of Portland to build a culturally relevant center for ideas, music, and creativity in service of a more open media and a more just community. We can be found on air at 91.1 and 107.1 FM in Portland and online at xray.fm. The X-Ray House Show series is a series with a mission, and that mission is to bring people together during times of social distancing. We started it in the spring when it was obvious that we would not be seeing our favorite artists on live stages in person for some time. And we aim to get through the summer doing a bunch of sessions, which we've done, and it's been really fun bringing these to you. We're gonna take a little break after this one and hopefully be back in the fall with more live sessions from here and from all over the place. But we couldn't do it without support from our many X-Ray members, our uh, underwriters, and the sponsors of the series, Dave Dahl and the Falcon Art Community. If you wanna tip the performer at any point in time, if you're really enjoying the music and you, you think that is something that you can afford to do, we encourage you to do that. Please do. We got a, a link right down here on the bottom of the screen. You can find it also in the chat section of the live stream platform that you're watching this on. Platform, platform. Um, be that Facebook or YouTube, you should be able to find a link there. And I want you to know that you have our guarantee that 100% of your contribution will go to Kyle Kraft and his chosen charity, which is the Black Resilience Fund which is an emergency fund dedicated to fostering healing and resilience in our community by providing immediate resources to Black Portlanders. You can find more information at blackresiliencefund.com. Well, I'm honored to welcome singer, songwriter, raconteur, and director Kyle Kraft to the X-Ray Flaming Cat Studios for the final live session of the X-Ray House Show series of the summer. Take it away, Kyle. Hey everybody. Nice to be here.
All right. These are a bunch of new songs for the most part, except for this one. This song's called The Exile Rag.
walks just like you Shows her thick teeth and walks just like you Through the middle of the night On knee high boots and bells She does a turn round for me Holds me close and then ignores me Underneath the light But by the time that her train's parted And her tragedy's restarted And it's you, all the cash in a bag She'll be rolling in millions And you'll Rolling in new This next sick jam is about my um, my <laughs> my grandfather's second wife. My grandmother was his first. <clears throat> Her, I'm from Louisiana, where you where people think it's uh, fine to, which I guess it is, name a person Earlene. That was her name. So this song is called Earlene. She was uh she was not the sweetest. I'm trying to watch my my words, my words in here. <laughs> bad habit of like telling the entire story of songs before I sing them and you know foreshadow the entire thing <laughs>
always on the run Used to ride a motorcycle with her strange son Some wonder why I left and never looked behind It's cause I wonder if with you. This next one's another new tune. Sorry, going through my harmonica, harmonica arsenal here. Ah, it's the one I have on. <laughs> Uh, this song is called Hey Reno. It's about the time, uh, actually, yeah, just. She said, let's go someplace if we ain't gone. Across the desert, then we'll go back home. It takes no time Said I kind of like the scenery here Nightlife's good Don't show time If you ain't gonna hit for me When we roll up Virginia Street
Thank you. That was gorgeous. My name is Theo Craig. We are here at X-Ray FM in the Flaming Cat Studios with Kyle Kraft performing new songs and an old favorite here. Kyle, thank you so much for coming down. Yeah, of course. We'll talk a little bit about music, the future of performance here in a second, but as I was saying, over the summer, we've uh, touched base a few times, and it's always been a pleasure. Got to catch up with you a couple times throughout the summer, and each time you, you were presenting, not presenting, but you mentioned that you just finished perhaps a, a, a new project, something around the house, like uh, garden beds or recordings from your home studios, or you had even new endeavors on the forefront, including new music and a, a film, perhaps, in the works. I'm one of those people that kind of plans the next thing. Well, I guess I'll, most people are like that, plan, planning the next thing. Um, I'm also one of those people that seems to put things down right at the end of that thing and move to the next thing. I don't know if that's a a defense mechanism or something. I, I'm, I'm not really sure. But yeah, I've been creating a lot of stuff and i don't know yeah i um i've built i built a garden a hanging garden at yeah that. yeah it's like, a uh, mounted up world. high to get the sun but really cool stuff i'd never seen anything quite like that <laughs> i didn't know i had a green thumb but i guess i did <laughs> i recorded an album and then covid started happening right toward the end of when i was finishing tracking that cuz the only thing really left was um do you know patty king here in town she's uh, she's a uh, she plays violin she's ama- she's an amazing musician all around oh yes uh, of course yeah we were talking about getting violin um across the the board on the on the record and i had left kind of all these gaps in this record for parts that um, me and Patty were going to work on. And then COVID happened. So that's, I don't know. I, yeah, that, that record, I really, I haven't even listened to it in a minute. I'm trying to like not listen to it until I feel like it's time to touch it again, you know? Mm -hmm. But I, from what I remember, I think it's pretty, pretty all right and then uh and then after after that i was like okay i gotta start getting busy with something just to keep sane and you know and so i did this graham parsons cover album finished that and i'm still kind of trying to figure out what what that's gonna be and then i started working on this b-sides sort of uh record or ep which is now turned into a record which uh, is coming out here. Well, that's an amazing output for a summer or, you know, even for a year, really. What keeps you motivated and how do you stay so productive? All those, all those tunes that I recorded for that album before COVID happened, you know, I'd been writing for a while. And, um, and so, Sorry, just breathe into the harmonica. <laughs> but uh, but after that, you know, the Graham Parsons stuff was, I mean, those songs are already written. It was just a matter of of doing, I tried to do those justice as close to the originals as I could in my own way. Um, and then these newer songs are songs that have sort of littered my song, song book uh, for years and years that I've just like held on to and now they it actually feels like a cohesive unit of songs so I don't I don't know if I should call it a record of b-sides or not but as far as the movie thing goes yeah I wrote I wrote this uh this weird sort of like new western sort of uh movie situation based on this treasure hunt that I went on um <laughs> where, where, which is bizarre and uh, wait treasure hunt it, yeah the, it was this forest fin uh treasure hunt situation and um and as I was I went out there I went to the spot where I thought it was me and Jeremy my guitar player and we we looked 
we kind of he wrote this poem that leads you to this treasure. It's been hidden for ten years, right? Like thousands of people have looked for this thing for ten years, and uh, the when I decided to go out there and look for it, you know, me and Jeremy go out there and look for it, and then we we get back, and Jeremy the day after sends me this uh, little interview clip of the guy that hid the treasure saying this one thing, this hint, this like subtle hint. And I was like, Oh my God, I know where it's at. We've got to go back. It was, I I thought it was in Yellowstone. I was like, we got to get back to Yellowstone. And so me and Lydia, my wife, she was like, yeah, let's do it. Let's go back. And we start heading there. And our plan was to stay in Boise and wake up that following morning and just go straight to it. And then that night in Boise, I'm like falling asleep. And there was like this Reddit thread devoted to this treasure, you know, where it's like crazy people like myself (laughs) (laughs) talking about this. And, um, and right before I went to sleep, it was probably like 11 o'clock or something, maybe 1030. I looked at that Reddit. I was like passing out and, someone had found the treasure it was like the treasure's been found and i was like on my way i was like oh my god no <laughs> i was like what time did they stop selling booze in boise oh, and just no. got just proceeded to get drunk in a hotel room and i ate uh, pizza <laughs> well that sounds like a good use of time and quite an adventure sorry that you didn't find the treasure but i'm glad that you have the tail well, I'm actually like part of me is really happy that I didn't find it because after whoever found it found it, there it was just like the crazies came out of the woodwork and they were mm-hmm. like they were like after this guy, after the guy that hit it, just like this guy hacked my computer and figured out where I was going, even though they won't even release where it actually was. They did release the state. They said it was in Wyoming. So could be where I was going. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot of land to cover. Yeah. But uh, that's quite a story to cover. So you have been making a a film based on these events? Sort of. Okay. A little bit. Uh, Yeah. Mostly just to... I I mean, it's all just kind of for fun, you know? Um, Who knows? I I was kind of writing it with two of my good friends, and they moved uh, briefly to Toronto. So... Who knows? We may do it, may not. We'll see. It's written, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> and this wouldn't be your first endeavor into directing. I've helped direct like my own music videos a little bit, you know. Uh, whenever, whenever it's kind of a, uh, whenever the vibe's right, mm-hmm. you know. But uh, other than that, no. I just really like doing vi- video and. Um, I've always kind of wanted to like make a movie. I used to do that when I was a kid. My mom, when I was probably around uh, 14 years old, she she gave me a choice of. She was like, "I know you really like to make these like home videos and stuff. Would you for Christmas? Do you want to get a little like handheld video camera, or do you want like an acoustic guitar?" I was like, uh, "I'll do a guitar." <laughs> so. <laughs> That's how that went. But I've always liked making stuff like that. You know, I just, I just honestly, I have to be making something or mm-hmm. it gives me time to realize that I'm going crazy, you know. So if I'm not writing some weird, dumb movie, I'm writing some weird, dumb song or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, I got to do it. So hopefully whatever the future holds is creating something. What do you think the future of performing is, of writing music, of of being involved in a career in this field? I don't imagine that it'll go back to the way it was before this um, anytime soon. But I do think that at the end of the day, like getting out in front of people and playing for people is amazing. And it... it it's such a big part of the music community, but at the same time as an artist, you know, that that's, that's not really what it is. 
uh, that's just a perk. Like the, the perk is being able to go out and be like, Hey, look at this. But if you have something in you, that's like, that needs to come out anyway, it's kind of for you, you know, it's kind of like a, uh, self healing thing, you know? And I mean, that's what's gotten me by is just been a, being able to write songs and be able to be home and record them. If I were just sitting around and didn't have the capability of like recording, whether it's just, even if it's just on your phone or something, mm. you know, it, I, I think I would maybe go crazy. Uh, because I mean, that that's my favorite part of the whole thing is just the creating part, the being in the studio part, the writing, you know, putting the pen to the paper and playing live is a close second. It's fun, but it's, you know, at, uh, to some degree, that's the showboat part of the art and not the actual, like, content, you know, depending on if you're Bob Dylan or Kiss. Right. <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, with three full-length studio albums, one live album, and a bevy of singles under your belt, plus so much more recorded and in production right now um i think uh you're in a good spot for staying connected and uh with your listeners that is and uh, i'm really excited to hear everything that's coming and so glad for everything that's already out there uh, you can well, find thanks, it man. all out there on all of your favorite digital service platforms in your favorite uh, record stores and especially at Bandcamp. uh you can find New works from Kyle Craft, Kyle Craft singles on Bandcamp, as well as Kyle Craft on Bandcamp for all. I think the... that might be changing here pretty soon. That the actual address to the the website, uh, but yeah, Bandcamp is definitely the place at the moment to find it. So that's one way to contribute. Another way is to donate. You can donate right now. Uh, we got a uh, probably on the bottom of the screen appearing right here is a URL uh, that takes you to a donation site. All of that goes to Kyle Craft as well as his chosen charity beneficiary for this, which is the Black Resilience Fund. Do you, do you want to say a little bit about that? It's basically like an immediate sort of fund that disperses the money kind of into bills and food and healthcare and yeah, it's pretty amazing. It started as a GoFundMe uh, from an individual and grew into something that uh, the city really, really is grouped up around. Uh, there, there's something like 40 volunteers uh, that are helping make sure that those funds go to the, the right folks. I would say if you need it, definitely reach out. Yep. You can find more information at blackresiliencefund.com. Uh, you can also donate right now uh, at that website or through the link that we have here and in the live stream chat window. So thank you so much for coming down and doing all this, yeah. Kyle. And, and thanks for sharing the support with the Black Resilience Fund and sharing your time with X-Ray and our listeners and viewers. Absolutely. We're going to get into a second set here of songs. Are these, uh, do you want to say anything about these or the, or the last set? Yeah, I was going to play a few, uh, a few newer ones, a few older ones in, uh, okay. on, this, well, on this set as well. You have heard it here. Kyle Craft live in the X ray studios. We have dusted off everything in here. Well, not everything, but. The, at least the microphones and that chair that Kyle's sitting in. And we're really happy to have him back here. Really happy to have you tuning in. You are watching Kyle Craft on X-Ray FM. Thank you, everybody. The song's called The Rager. She walked in, her hands in fur coat pockets She brought her best bad habit She's looking for to kill If not herself, then well, maybe two nights boyfriend Maybe some sad random looking for his feet She lets me hang around and watch 
Oh, this one's a rager, and all the cute girls hate her, and all the boys run terrified from her powder white toes. Who's she, they ask me, as she stumbles past me. It's one of 20 different names, depending where she goes. Walking out the bar a mess. So it's search and destroy for the player of the Playboy, for the walking apocalypse and the hill she staggers on. She courts the shadows, and swings about the gallows, rope to rope, she gets her thrill. Lays awake at dawn But who could live that way this long I've seen plenty good girls go wrong But i never seen someone like you Burning holes in your four-post bed Passed out with your knees all bruised Your sleeping hands smoking a cigarette I'm going to do uh, another one of these new songs. It's coming out September 4th. This is actually an, uh, um, an older song of mine that I rewrote. It's called The Mystic Naturally.
you thought you'd cast out come round so keep you up at night sometimes it gets so loud you just can't sleep but ooh medicine woman when you we could get one more yeah for sure let me just think of the perfect one yeah (laughs) take (laughs) your time all right this one this one is a uh a um kind of a bluesy a bluesy number let me see if yeah Sounds so good. How many of those do you have? Uh, over here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten for half every of one of the keys. Half of them work okay. The other half don't work at all. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you got the half that do work. Grave quarter in the well. I 
up to the wishbone She went ringing her bell And I followed it down To the banks of a dream Oh, Mama Ruin, oh, Mama Ruin Don't take over me She said if you're out Might as well jump in Mama Ruin, what have we done? Thank you so much. What a fantastic set, fantastic show. We had you here a little bit longer than I expected, and I'm really happy for all of it. Oh. Thank you so much, Kyle. No, thank you. Yeah. Thanks a ton. Y'all take care of each other out there. We will definitely see each other out there, and you can find all of Kyle Craft's music for sale on bandcamp.com. I'm sure you know how to look that up you can follow kyle on all the socials as well as x-ray be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel is what it says for me to remind people here <laughs> and subscribe to x-ray's newsletter download the x-ray app support local music support local artists thank you to kyle craft x-ray listeners viewers staff volunteers of course our sponsors the falcon art community and dave Dahl for making this possible and for all of you who have contributed during this session, if you haven't yet, you can make a tip. You can drop some money in the tip jar at the link on the bottom of the screen here or in the chat on the X-Ray website. You can donate anytime. This will remain open for quite a while. So if you didn't catch this live, you maybe are catching it and you're like, oh, that's too bad I didn't get a chance to donate. Good luck. No, good news. <laughs> and good luck for everybody. But good news is you can still donate right now. Kyle, thank you so yep. much once again. Thank you. And thanks, thanks everybody, for uh, checking it out. And remember, so. September 4th is the Bandcamp 
commission-free day, and you can be expecting some new music from Kyle. Hopefully, a new album called Sugar Water, available at Bandcamp.com. It's, it's a real hoot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to get back to what we were doing before on the radio side. We're going to get back to the music on the live side. We'll get back to whatever we were doing back home. Stay safe out there. Remember to wear your mask. Be good to people and support local music. Radio's yours.